My name is John Dawson and I'm going to do a video today on how to do monoprints with water-based media. The first thing you have to have is a sheet of plexiglass. The plexiglass uh, for this technique needs to be specially prepared. It has to be beveled and uh, scuffed up, which will uh, demonstrate how to do that. Then you need a water-soluble um, medium. Um, this is a uh, water-soluble printer's ink for block printing, watercolors work, various kinds of water-soluble crayons, and water-soluble uh, pencils, water-soluble ink works, and certain other kinds of water-soluble um, drawing materials. Uh, we'll demonstrate each one of these and uh, have a test plate that shows which ones work and how well they work and which ones work best. This is a monoprint plate that I've been using for years and um, once the plate is uh, properly prepared you can use it over and over again. The uh, plexiglass plate needs to be uh, beveled all the way around in order to uh, keep it from uh, cutting your uh, blankets on the press bed. I uh, usually write on the back of it uh, with the size and the word back in order to keep uh, the front and back uh, uh, identified. Once it's beveled, uh, it needs to be scuffed up for um, this particular monoprint technique. It needs to be scuffed up in order to hold um, the uh, drawing materials, the pencils and crayons and so forth. As you can probably tell, this is an older plate which I've uh, already scuffed once before. I'm using a medium grit sandpaper on a sanding block and you need to do it in multiple directions in order to, to uh, get the best results later on. I did uh, test plates with the various uh, water soluble media to see which uh, works best and um, as you can see this is uh, the block printing ink and it works pretty well. This particular ink is similar to India ink, but it's uh, water soluble and it works very well for this technique. The marker is very nice because it has on one end a, uh, a brush-like tip and on the other it's a tip that's similar to a uh, felt tip pen. These water soluble crayons uh, work well and as you can see from this test plate they, uh, they print up very nicely. These are water soluble colored pencils and as you can see from the test plate they don't come out nearly as well as the uh, crayons do. They, uh, they come out very lightly. If uh, you were to go over it uh, with multiple passes they might come out somewhat better. Watercolor works very well as you can see even when you put it on very light and thin it still prints. The uh, gouache doesn't work at all. This particular version of a water-soluble pencil, uh, which is made by the same company as the um, colored pencils we saw earlier, seemed to work very well. And lastly, uh, these uh, water-soluble chalks uh, don't really work at all. Um, in fact, I had to enhance uh, the uh, test plate in the computer in order for this to show up at all. However, if you dip these uh, chalk blocks into water and uh, then use them, as you can see from this test plate, they do print up a little bit better. I start by mixing the color of ink that I want, and then uh, I'm going to be rolling it out on the palette. This is uh, the only thing that you really have to do in this particular technique uh, quickly because uh, the ink tends to dry up, uh, uh, particularly here in uh, Arizona where everything dries very quickly. As I demonstrated in a previous video, I've taken the uh, plexiglass plate, put it face down on a uh, preliminary drawing, and then drawn out the shape on the back of the plate with a Sharpie. So now I'm going to roll up the plate with this uh, solid color. I'm going to roll up uh, almost the whole plate, everything but that uh, left-hand corner because I'm going to be wiping uh, a lot of this off and that particular spot is going to be wiped off anyway, so I'm not going to roll that, uh, that particular part of the plate up. Now I'm going to uh, wipe out the image um, 
Because the ink is water soluble, I'm just using a paper towel and plain water. I'll wipe out the entire image that uh, I want to paint in later, leaving the flat uh, orange as a background. I've now wiped out all the ink and uh, leaving the orange as a background color, I'm ready to uh, paint in the image. I painted in this part of the image with some watered down uh, block printing ink. Um, I didn't have any watercolors handy, but I think they would have worked just as well. In this area, I'm using a combination of the water soluble color pencils and the, um, the crayons. One of the possibilities is to do an underpainting with uh, watercolor or watered down uh, block printing ink and then uh, go over the top of that with um, the colored pencils or the uh, crayons. When you finish drawing on the plate, then the next thing you need to do is soak the paper. Uh, you need to have a good um, printmaking paper such as Reeves BFK. There are other uh, good printmaking papers out there. I prefer Reeves BFK. The paper needs to be soaked for about 20 or 30 minutes and then it needs to be blotted dry. The same as you would do in the etching process. It's the dampness of the paper that uh, actually makes this process work. The paper should be blotted until it's damp uh, but not shiny and then we place it over the top of the plate and cover the blankets on top and run it through the press. When you pull the the uh, paper off the plate, you should do it slowly because uh, many times uh, the uh, paper will tear if um, if you try to to uh, uh, pull it up too quickly. So uh, this is the uh, the finished print or the nearly finished print. As I mentioned, I believe in a previous video, the uh, initial printing is uh, the uh, just the first stage. I uh, usually enhance the prints with uh, a certain amount of touch-ups, and uh, this is the uh, the final print after um, I've done uh, some minor touch-ups. Uh, cleanup is very easy. It just takes some sponge and. Uh, some water and a paper towel and everything comes off very, very fast. If you've done a drawing on the back of the plate with a Sharpie, it uh, cleans off very easily with a little bit of denatured alcohol on a paper towel. Okay, well, those are the basics for uh, uh, monoprint with the uh, water-based technique. Um, it doesn't really have very many advantages over the uh, oil-based technique. Uh, the only one that I can see is that uh, you don't have to do the plate all at one time. You could do it over hours, weeks, days, months. It really wouldn't matter. Um, blended rolls don't come out as well. F flat uh, rolls don't come out as well, uh, in my opinion. And when you think about it, um, what the hell's the point? Uh, you can just as easily do uh, a drawing uh, on a piece of paper. Uh, you're only going to get one print of it anyway and it's going to come out backwards. So um, I, uh, I favor the oil-based technique uh, much more over the water-based technique. However, it does have uh, a use and um, that is uh, combining the two techniques and uh, I'm going to demonstrate that in the next video. I'll be following this up with uh, examples of uh, my monoprints and the uh, address for my web page and Facebook page. And if uh, you're interested, you could uh, subscribe to other instructional videos of mine on YouTube.